You want your chocolate? It's early. We're lost. Well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we just got done with breakfast. We're packing up to head down into the canyon. Seven means seven! Woo! We are at Super Bill rad. Hall Trail right now, Monument Point. And we're gonna arrive no later than 12, so that's our goal. So we all are carrying about 10 liters of water. There's no water source yeah. on this whole Esplanade. Right. Yeah. Distance is four miles. Seems pretty easy, but it's gonna be some crazy elevation. And that's all you need to know. Let's do this. Keep going. We're SROM, Solid Rock Outdoor Ministries. We've spent the last 30 years training people to be leaders in the wilderness. This time, we're taking a group of SROM veterans on their own course into Red Rock Canyon and the remote Grand Canyon to go deeper <laughs> and live 15 days in the wilderness. Get up. are our stories in the canyon. Today is our first day actually in the Grand Canyon. Let's roll out! We camped right on the rim last night. Yeah, the first day on a Grand Canyon trip is always exciting because packs are very heavy. Let's drop. Right off the bat, you have to get from the rim and down a very steep it's called the limestone layer. Uh, it's a very steep layer of limestone that leads you down to the esplanade, which is a more flat area, before you get to the red wall, which leads you down to the proper gorge. We were given a map. You see that super fine switchback yeah. built nation right there? Well, that'll be yeah. the, That's next the next day. day. Mm -hmm. So we want to basically set ourselves up to wake up and just knock that out. And we were told our destination for the day. They chose us to be the leaders of the day. Every day it'll be new people. What would be some of the potential hazards that you'd see? It's our first day. We're used to the packs. Maybe been a while since they've had a heavy pack on. Steep terrain, worried about ankles, falls. Balance. Balance, because all that water weight. So we all are carrying about 10 liters of water. Yeah, so a liter is 2.2 pounds, and so I mean, every person had around 24 pounds of water. And Which is a lot of water. And a lot of weight. And a lot of weight. How, how heavy do you think yours is? That's stupid. That's how much it well, weighs. Well, it's definitely. Helping your yes. partner put it on the pack. Uh, they are heavy enough to get twisted. I mean, 65, 70, more than half my body weight. Mm -hmm. Not more than you. <laughs> my first real backpacking experience was like a month ago on my first course, so I'm new to it, but I like it. I like it when we get to the campsite and we take it off. That's when I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. My foot's feeling pretty good. Can't complain. I'm actually more worried about my knees because they don't like downhill very much. It is our first day in the canyon, so. Oh, I love it. It looks like a painting. You like literally get to this edge and then you're just like looking down. You're like, we're gonna go down <laughs> that. Like, what? Oh, we are getting ready to drop. Come on. Yeah. 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 Come on. In the Grand Canyon, there's a couple of cliffs, basically. So the first one is a limestone cliff, and that's what we were dropping off. Careful, people. Lean into the mountain if you fall. So that was up on top, and then it just drops. So in a third of a mile, you're dropping 700 feet. Second mile, you're dropping, you know, another 1,000 feet. So that's, uh, that's a lot. There's some hairy spots. All right, everybody just uh, orient and get on the same page. There's a kind of a steep part here. Um, if you don't feel comfortable going down with your pack, definitely take it off. Yeah. You want to pass your pack? Mm -hmm. The person cool. that goes down first, spot the person above you. Layer. 
there was basically Mars. We like looked down and it just like the whole landscape changed. We went from pine forests on the top that down to just like Marsville. It was like hot, flat rocks and it's like a whole different world. We, we had potential to be super exposed to the sun that whole day with those heavy packs, but Lord really blessed us with cloud yeah, cover. The LSDs did an awesome job because right when the sun came out and it got super hot and intense, but they found this like overhanging like Simba Pride Rock cliff. <laughs> Woo! Welcome to the Grand Canyon. We have we were up there. pretty much found our spot right. for know our camping, for. but we are needing to find a prime spot for our kitchen and tents. So yeah. And so they all, everyone hung out there. So then the LODs and us went and scouted an actual camp spot. But so it's one o'clock right now. We've got dinner coming up at let's say 4.30. Yeah, when we arrived to the general area where we thought we were gonna be camping that night, um, Chelsea and I had some data from looking on Google Earth, kind of getting an idea of where it'd be best to camp on that Esplanade. With that, we helped the LOD scout a little bit, kind of gave them this is the general area we're working with, and then let them take it from there, which I, we thought was appropriate for, for okay. that night. The view is amazing over there, so it's definitely worth the five minutes. So we'll get uh, our packs on, and after that, we'll, we'll have some good siesta time, some tag time. Yeah, a lot of people, is their first time experiencing the Grand Canyon, so it was kind of a whoa mm -hmm. feeling for some people. This is new, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that Mars feeling is yeah. a good way to describe it. And people, I think, experienced the hotness, too. Like, right when we decided to stop yeah. for camp was when the, the actual sun did come out. Had a really good day. It was, it was really fun. Spirits were up. It was cloudy. And we successfully made it to our camp. So nice job. Mm -hmm. Got here, so we have some uh, relaxing downtime. It's been a good amount of time down here now, which is cool. And um, down here is where I really, the Lord really spoke to me about serving with SRAM and instructing for SRAM. Um, and I really heard his voice on that trip. Like I never have and it kind of you know that was really the first I'd only say the first time I started hearing from God was here in the Grand Canyon so whenever I come back it's it's just a special place mm -hmm.